Hey, Dr. Brown. Hey, Ashley. You just got out of college. It's your first spring training. It's your first, you know, camp. It's your first whatever. What are you telling this kid going into it? Well, the key is to have fun because otherwise it could be too much pressure. So um, the, the, there's often a tendency to put too much pressure on yourself as a top athlete. You know, it could be as a business person. It could be anywhere in life. But the higher you go, the more the pressure is. And so you want to remember to enjoy the, the moments and enjoy the process as well and make it fun along the way. Hey, Dr. Brown. Hey, Ashley. You have a college student who's torn between a six-figure job and going pro as an athlete. How do you help them navigate which one would be a better decision for them? A six-figure job and a pro athlete? Mm-hmm. I mean, in terms of... Like as in terms of they're a, they're a home run all around. Yeah. I mean, I'm adventurous by nature, so I'm biased, and I'm up front with my biases. Like, you know, if it's, an, if it's creative and an adventure, it takes some courage. I'm going to, you know, when you're young, if you don't do it when you're young, when are you going to do it? So you can always work in an office. Like, you have a window here as an athlete, especially as a top athlete. Nice. That's good. Hey, hey, Dr. Brown. Hey, Ashley. What's one of the most important attributes a coach needs to have in order to take their athletes from a bad season to a great season? Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, the nature of coaching is more all-in than, like, you know, other professions in some ways. So, obviously, the all-in piece is key. Um, the caring piece, the motivation piece, um, flexibility, adaptability, creativity, resiliency. I mean, they, you know, they need that as much as the players need it. So especially the flexibility and the ability to, to adjust things either in the moment, in the quarter, as the game progresses. That, that, that's really important. Hey, Dr. Brown. Hey, Ashley. What's one of the hardest parts about going from getting to the next level, you know, going from the college to the professional level? I mean, part of it is your enhanced focus and your intention, I mean, and really about your routines and your habits, meaning you got to get more and more and more on point and super, super determined because it is like a pyramid. It's being, you know, you are being funneled and weeded out. I mean, there's just more and more competition and there's less spots. So... The intensity of the focus and determination needs to be through the roof, and your routines need to match that. Hey, Dr. Brown. Hey, Ashley. You just got out of college. It's your first spring training. It's your first, you know, camp. It's your first whatever. What are you telling this kid going into it? Well, the key is to have fun because otherwise it could be too much pressure. So um, the, the, there's often a tendency to put too much pressure on yourself as a top athlete you know it could be as a business person it could be anywhere in life but the higher you go the more the pressure is and so you want to remember to enjoy the the moments and enjoy the process as well and make it fun along the way hey dr brown hey ashley you have a college athlete yeah everybody wants him top pick heisman winner all pro bowl grades start slipping (laughs) he knows he's going to the pros grades just to crap (laughs) <laughs> what are you going to tell me? Well, you mean you got to get your act together in every area. This is part of on point energy, right? And so we're getting on point, you know, academically because it will affect the rest of his life because those are habits too. And so, you know, I mean, if he's sloppy in one area, he's likely to be sloppy in another area. And that can go for, for her as well. Nice. Hey, Dr. Brown. Hey, Ashley. What are mental game techniques you give to athletes to enhance their focus and concentration during games? Yeah, so the meditation, the mindfulness, the visualization, the breath work, the positive self-talk, and what I call enhanced communication skills, the ability to handle things in the moment as often as possible. The more we do the fundamentals of the mental game here, the better we get in general. And then we're building this crazy foundation so we can default into more presence as opposed to what most people default into, more worry or more head. Hey, Dr. Brett. Hey, Ashley. When an athlete on the pro level is hurt, when do they know when it's time to start exploring other careers? Well, when it's usually about, it's, it can be either a catastrophic injury like Bo Jackson, right? Something catastrophic, or it can be a series of injuries. And then, you know, it's kind of like when you have a pet towards the end, they start to, you know, you get warning signs. And so, you know, when you have a series of injuries, one, two, three, four years in a row, and you're just not healthy, then, you know, that's a warning sign. It might be time to start exploring elsewhere.